Joshua versus Dubois. I don't know if you saw some of the, the images that were floating about yesterday. Um, I don't know what to make of those in terms of the, the gym session um, with, with, with Anthony Joshua's nose popped and so on and so forth. But that's just the gym, I suppose, isn't it? But should we read too much into that, Spencer? No, no, is, is, that just tells you point? that just that just tells you that he's working hard, he's taking things serious, and these things in the gym when you're having hard sparring sessions, if anything, you should read into that. Well, that's that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because it shows that he's taking it serious. Daniel Dubois is young, he's hungry, he's improving all the time. If, if anything, I think the loss to Alexander Usyk was really the moulding of him. That was the one where he sort yeah. of made him believe in himself maybe a little bit more. Because he was doing well in the, in the contest, all right. He got he ended up getting stopped. He blew a gasket in the end. But you know, going away from that, teaming up with Don Charles has been a big bonus for him as well. Don Charles has not been working on the physicalities. He's been working on the psychological side with Daniel, letting him making him believe in himself. And I think we've been seeing that in recent performances, especially especially against Hergovic last time out. It was a you know it was a good performance. He showed that he belongs where he is. He's a big threat to Anthony Joshua, and Joshua knows that. And Joshua will leave no stone unturned. He's the ultimate professional and he'll be working very, very hard, you know, in, in there. And that, hence why you see, you know, pictures emerging of, you know, pops noses or whatever. That's not a bad thing. That just means that he's grafting and he's working hard. He knows he knows the magnitude of this contest. He knows what's on the line. He knows the importance of it. He's trying to become a three-time world heavyweight champion and he's left no stone unturned. It's a great fight, to be fair. Joshua has to start the favourite. Of course he does. You know, experience will play a big part. He's on, he's on a roll at the moment. Teaming up with Ben Davison's been a good thing for him as well. Yeah. It's reinstalled the confidence that's been missing out of Joshua's performances. And you look at him and the momentum that's with him at the moment and that experience, you have to lean towards Joshua to win that fight. And, and, and you know, and, and it could go early as well because Daniel will go out there and Daniel will take the fight to Anthony Joshua. Mate, you know, he won't, he won't freeze on the occasion. They're super confident. Um, Team Dubois are super confident on this one. They fancy the job, but they know that they can't outbox Anthony Joshua. He's going to have to go out there. It's about who establishes the jab first and who gets in range with that right hand. Either man could knock each other out. It's heavyweight boxing, but um, it's a great fight. I lean towards Joshua to win and probably win inside the distance, but I I like it, mate. I'm not, I'm not writing Daniel or Fever. Yeah, 